looking at the story now. It's published by Bloomberg. Uh, three reporters, Ecordonto, Sherry Sue, and Lucia Kasai, on 27 February 2023. And he says that Russia oil to be stashed in Ghana as pool of bias shrinks. Let's speak to someone who has also picked intel on this particular subject. He was once a minister for power, deputy, and MP for Yapiku, so the Honorable John Abdullah Jinapo. Honorable, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you. Thank what you. do you know about this story? Well, my checks indicate that indeed 100,000 barrels of oil has arrived here in Ghana. Indeed, as you rightly put it, Bloomberg had reported that Dr. Mustafa Hamid, the CEO of the National Petroleum Authority, the regulator of the downstream sector, had promised that the vessel would be turned away because Ghana was not in a position to accept crude oil coming from Russia. Contrary to the assurance from the minister, the information we have picked is that the oil has been discharged into the tanks of Tema Oil Refinery. Even more disturbing is the fact that Tema Oil Refinery has not been working for about two years now. There's been an attempt to shift this parcel to a company called Plant and Gas Oil Ghana Limited. But that plant can only process just about 3.6% or 4% of these 80,000 metric tons of crude. And so there are so many questions that are left unanswered. And one would have expected that as a responsible regulator with an international news carried by Bloomberg, the NPA would have issued a statement to clarify the situation. Government would have issued a statement to clarify the situation. Even more disturbing is the fact that Mr. Edwin Provincial, the MD for Bost, assured us that four parcels of finished product would arrive in the coming day, and even went further to promise that we should expect a minimum of one CD reduction on petrol and diesel on each liter. That has tend to be false. This is Bost, the Bost MD. He assured us. And a lot of your media has carried that story. It has turned out to be false. And that is why we cautioned government when they started this so-called goal for oil deal. Look at the embarrassing situation we are finding ourselves. Government is mute. The ministry is mute. NPA is mute. Edwin Provincial has gone under the carpet. And nobody is releasing information as far as this issue is concerned. This does not bode well for good governance. Look, Moro, this whole goal for oil deal is not about oil. It is an attempt by this government to push out licensed local gold exporters, appropriate their business, and give it to their cronies. It's as simple as that. Because there's some markup or margin on the gold sale, and government officials are determined to give these sweetheart deals to their cronies and their business partners. Look, since they started this goal for oil business, what has been the impact? You tell us what has been the impact. No impact. It is rather leading to scandals upon scandals, and today the MPA is mute. But if they do not respond, we shall use the necessary and appropriate parliamentary processes from tomorrow to ensure that the MPA, which is a state institution, is held liable and accountable and answerable to the people of Ghana. Okay. Why are you connecting this to gold for oil and even bringing in BOST in there when the story does not mention BOST? The story mentions NPA, mentions TOR. Can you explain what the connection is? Because the story does not even mention gold for oil. Plus, this is crude oil. It's not even finished product. So why are you doing the connection that you are doing? Because BOST assured us that we should be expecting some four parcels of oil in the coming days. Yes, in, in different periods, um, in, in different periods starting from, I think, last week or so. Edwin Provenza was on my show here and gave us a breakdown. I don't have the date immediately, but 
He did not yes, say. Was, he, he did not you, say. I listened to you. Uh-huh. I listened to Kobe. But he didn't say crude oil. At least. Yeah, but he didn't say we crude oil. Expect at least a one CD reduction in prices at the pumps. He was categorical. At least he didn't say about. And at least simply means that that is the flaw. That is the minimum. I'm just telling you generally how deceptive this government is. But, but we have seen we have seen information that there's a reduction at the pumps today. And I don't know, but it seems we are moving on from the main issue. We'll come back to that. But just Not on because the... any oil has been imported. Why, 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 has it go, why has it gone down? Because oil market prices have gone down. Okay. And you can check from plot. No problem. Let's Not go... because of gold for oil. Okay. Let's remain with the Russian thing. Um, we have made contact with the Ministry of Energy... Uh, the ministry has re- refused to grant us an interview on this. Uh, we've contacted BOST. BOST was not mentioned. So BOST says, well, there's nothing really to share with us because he has no knowledge of this information because he's not involved. We contacted TOR, the Tema Oil Refinery. We've not been successful to get an interview. Then we called the NPA, National Petroleum Authority. We were not granted an interview, but we've been given an off-record information. So I'm going to share that information with you, which is what we picked from NPA, but it's unofficial. It's not attributed to anybody, but it's something we picked up from there. And the information we got is that the crude is from Kazakhstan and not Russia, and that the crude belongs to a private refinery known as Platon and is not for Tema Oil Refinery. And that Tema Oil Refinery tour is just storing the product or the crude for this company known as Platon, which is a private company, which is a refinery. And that tour is doing this at a fee. The NPA further tells us that the vessel has not discharged the content yet. It is still at the anchorage in Tema. And that it is going through security checks, quality checks, etc. before the offloading would be done or the discharge will be done. So this means that fundamentally, the crude is not coming from Russia, but it's coming from Kazakhstan. So it should not be a big deal. What do you say to that? You qualified your statement that it is not official. Yes, it is not. You qualified your statement that we can't place official premium on what you picked. The MPA owes the people of Ghana a responsibility, not a favor. It's a responsibility. They have to tell the people of Ghana what the situation is. More especially when an international media house such as Bloomberg calls the MPA chief executive of assuring that the vessel will be turned back, the MPA gives approval and authorization before that product can be discharged here in Ghana. Even before the vessel gets to our port, the MPA must have given some prior approval at least for the vessel to birth. And so the MPA is only being mischievous and not trying to tell us the truth. We demand answers from the MPA because the MPA chief executive and his team is paid by the taxpayer, and they ought to do that. They should not hide and say that they are providing information that is unofficial. What is that? MPA is not supposed to give us unofficial information. They are obliged to give us official information. And like I said, we know the capacity of Planton. We know what they can process even in a year. And we know the shelf life of these products. And we have had situations where even in less than six months, Thor has sold Ghana's crude oil, claiming that you cannot keep that crude oil for more than six months. So what has changed? And so let us ensure that the National Petroleum Authority, the downstream regulator, provide adequate information with clarity and official information so that all of us can be dealing with official information. What is a big deal if we are bringing crude from Russia? So what is the big deal for the MPA boss to tell us that he will turn the crude back if there's nothing wrong with bringing crude from Russia? That is the issue. What is the big deal if this indeed turns out to be a private company that has gone to purchase its own crude oil to come and refine in Ghana, which we are told is a norm? So let us get a fact. Why does government need to even talk about something that a private man has decided to go and do? Because government gives approval. 
government grants approval before that oil comes in. Yeah, but government, government grants approval. So government certifies people who are bringing in containers of Obroni Wewu from China, for instance. Does it matter that government has to always come and issue a statement on it? This a private person doing business with a private person bringing that product to a private refinery. So government really shouldn't say anything, should it? Umaru, government brings in Obroni Wewu. That is not an issue. That is why CTFM is not carrying it. This is a major issue. This is an issue making international round. This is an issue that has international ramifications. This is an issue the U.S. itself has indicated that countries that do not stand by them would face some repercussion. Government has already voted, and I mean the Republic of Ghana, against Russia at the U.N. Government, through NPA's chief executive, is reported to have said that he finds something wrong with oil coming from Russia, and so he will return the vessel. I am not bringing these issues up. These are issues that have come up, and I'm sure that City FM itself finds these issues meritorious. That is why, and find these issues weighty. That is why you have decided to bring it to the fore. Let us discuss this matter. Good oil business is not like Obroni World. 600,000 barrels of crude oil is not like a bale of Obroni oil. It has serious implications for this country. The MPA must come clean. The MPA must come official so that we can digress and discuss these issues and come to a finality on it. Very well. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you, my brother.